Hello, I'm Pat Matthews, and you're watching Business World News, focusing on global trends and emerging technologies. In the news and under discussion on this installment of Business World News is a breakthrough technology that will be instrumental in not only opening vast new oil deposits, but making them as commercially profitable as any Arab oil field. The story starts in the forested wastes of Alberta, Canada, but it ends in a gas pump near you. Energy. We use it every day for power, for transportation, to heat our homes. That's why it's always in the news. The fact is, global energy needs is a never-ending search for new resources, chased by ever-growing demand and buffeted by mounting production costs. Plus, there's the constant fear that the world's oil spigot will one day run dry. Rival Technologies, with its true process technology, is committed to keeping that oil spigot flowing and the price per barrel from skyrocketing. Rival Technologies is set up as a holding company. It invests in emerging technologies that show extraordinary market potential. True Oil Tech is one of the companies that Rival has invested in that has that extraordinary market potential. And all of our investors right now are focused on what's going on with True Oil Tech. Canada possesses vast untapped deposits locked in the oil sands of Alberta that cover more than 140,000 square kilometers. Deposits that some estimate at two and a half trillion barrels, with a minimum of 176 billion barrels recoverable with today's technology. That's comparable to Saudi Arabia's. Some call oil liquid gold. The bad news is the oil recovered from Alberta's oil sands isn't very liquid. This viscous heavy crude is too thick for pipelines without major and costly processing using hydrocarbons to dilute it. That is, until now. Nevada-based rival technologies, through its subsidiary, True Oil Tech, has developed the True Process. This technology not only upgrades the viscous heavy crude, it delivers an ultra-high yield pipeline-grade product called True Light, which can command a premium price. The patented True Process technology is the first to use a distillable cracking catalyst to upgrade the thick heavy crude, or feedstock into a synthetic crude without using costly dilutants. This synthetic crude, similar to light crude oil, can then be pumped by pipeline efficiently and economically for further processing and refining, all at a price that is significantly less than current technologies, with a net cost benefit of $5 or more per barrel. The process adds the additive and uh, with uh, essentially a pressure and temperature regime that is quite mild by oil industry standards. We treat the oil and we get a product which is pipelineable and uh, would go then to a refinery. This is a primary upgrading step, something that's missing in the oil sands business, and we believe that we have a process that will, in fact, fill that gap and be a revolutionary process for them. In other words, by using Rival's true process, oil companies can deliver a higher pipeline quality synthetic crude more efficiently and more economically than current technology. So it's no surprise that petroleum producers in Canada and from around the world are knocking on the doors of rival technologies, as are savvy investors. True Light has lower metals and sulfur content than comparable upgrading processes, and as a result, commands a premium price. Lower density makes, makes the oil more valuable. API gravity is the reverse of density, so a higher API means lower density. We produce the highest API upgraded oil ever made at the yields that we can generate. The best system available today can generate a 77% yield of lighter oil from bitumen at an API of 22.3. That means 100,000 barrels of this tarry heavy oil produces 77,000 barrels of pipelineable oil. We can produce the same API at 84,000 barrels, which is 10% higher. So we produce the highest yield of any system in the world. Rival Technologies has conducted numerous tests over the past two years on a wide range of heavy oil feedstocks. All data has been collected and analyzed through independent third-party research facilities to ensure the results are objective and accurate. Rival Technologies is negotiating the first of a series of Canadian and U.S. licensing agreements with companies interested in the true process for their crude oil processing needs. The initial Canadian target project is a $1.5 billion, 100,000 barrels per day facility 
to be developed in four phases, with the initial phase expected to process 25,000 barrels per day. Just one project of this magnitude will significantly impact rival technologies' market capitalization, currently $28 million. Projected royalties of $1 to $2 per barrel will convert to annual revenues in excess of $50 million and a $500 million market capitalization. In addition to North American producers, Rival Technologies is also in complex negotiations with major multinationals and oil interests in Malaysia, Venezuela, and the Middle East to help exploit and process oil deposits that were once considered marginal. What makes the true process so attractive is that it can be adapted to the specific needs of a range of oil deposits, many of which were economically unfeasible a decade ago, all at the same time producing a higher and better quality yield at a lower price. It can be customized by changing the dose of our additive to suit the feedstock. So if we have bitumen A and bitumen B, we will tailor our formula for each bitumen depending on its chemistry. The true oil tech discovery is going to change the way that primary upgrading occurs. Right now in Alberta there are 69 SAG-D projects planned and or being built. The market is very huge. We will bring a huge cost reduction to the people that are already in progress and we expect that for future developments this process will be accepted and become the, the way oil is upgraded at the primary level. From the sound of it, Rival Technologies has certainly chosen its name wisely. Come to think of it, perhaps it should be Unrivaled Technologies. For Business World News, I'm Pat Matthews. Thanks for watching.